dit seulement une chose, c'est qu'une grande partie de l'argent qui est dans notre porte-monnaie vient précisément de l'exploitation depuis des siècles de l'Afrique. Pas bah, uniquement, mais beaucoup viennent de l'exploitation de l'Afrique. One thing that keeps me puzzled, despite having studied finance and economics at the world's best universities, the following question remains unanswered. Why is it that 5,000 units of our currency is worth one unit of your currency, where we are the ones with the actual gold reserves? It's quite evident that the aid is in fact not coming from the West to Africa, but from Africa to the Western world. The Western world depends on Africa in every possible way, since alternative resources are scarce out here. So how does the West ensure that the free aid keeps coming? By systematically destabilizing the wealthiest African nations and their systems, and all that backed by huge PR campaigns leaving the entire world under the impression that Africa is poor and dying and merely surviving on the mercy of the West. Well done, Oxfam, UNICEF, Red Cross, Life Aid, and all the other organizations that continuously run multi-million dollar advertisement campaigns depicting charity porn to sustain that image of Africa globally. Ad campaigns paid for by innocent people under the impression to help with their donations. While one hand gives under the flashing lights of cameras, the other takes in the shadows. We all know the dollar is worthless, while the euro is merely charged with German intellect and technology, and maybe some Italian pasta. How can one expect donations from nations that have so little? It's super sweet of you to come with your colored paper in exchange for our golden diamonds. But instead, you should come empty-handed, filled with integrity and honor. We want to share with you our wealth and invite you to share with us. The perception is that a healthy and striving Africa would not disperse its resources as freely and cheaply, which is logical. Course. It would instead sell its resources at world market prices, which in turn would destabilize and weaken Western economies established on the post colonial free meal system. Last year, the IMF reports that six out of ten of the world's fastest growing economies are in Africa, measured by their GDP growth. The French Treasury, for example, is receiving about $500 billion year in, year out. The foreign exchange reserves from African countries, based on colonial debt, they force them to pay. This is what happens in the human world, the world we have created.